Hello, good day to you. I welcome you to the another episode on mold flows, tips and workflow. This is in continuation to the what's new in Autodesk mold flow 2024. As you have reviewed my earlier episode, as we take you through the series of enhancements like the min and max, the histogram, um, some of the impact of the fiber orientation on the rheology. And today we are going to discuss about the wall gates on tetrahedral elements. Again, this enhancement has been requested by many of the users uh, who, you know, wants to do a very quick analysis onto the onto the bigger components which has the hot runner fit system and it takes bit of time for them to convert that fit system into the beam elements and run the analysis now the workflow has uh, in, in such a way that you can directly import the complete part with the fit system with attached to the your part and uh, mesh the complete geometry that includes part on your fit system and then you can assign the attributes till today what we would able to do is we were just able to assign the attributes to the fit system uh, as an hot runner or in the cold runner feed systems. Uh, but we were not able to assign the specific properties like an hot gate. As you can see on your screen, now you can select the elements uh, or year, and then you can assign the properties as hot gate. If you just assign the properties as hot gate, a default color, uh, you know, changes to the magenta color and then, and so, but you can also assign that as a wall gate control. Uh, like you see on your screen, I can select the wall gate controls to it. But at this point of time, it only opens instantaneously open or close only. You cannot assign the attributes like, you know, open it at when the flow front reaches or probably opens at when the flow reaches to a particular node that the team or the many of the users has been doing it let's have a demonstration of it i try to you know uh, do some quick work around with the existing part on my uh, geometry um, this is my demo part and um, when i say demo part this is not much uh, the part that i use it more often to do the demonstration now what i have done over here is i attach a feed system to the part and if you want to follow the workflow of like assigning a tetrahedral elements to the fit systems, probably it should be a single body. But what it means is that your fit system and the body uh, should be a single one like here. And then you push in from the Fusion 360 or the you know inventor, which allows the bi-directional associativity uh, to the mold flow inside. And as a open it into the mold flow inside uh, and I have meshed it actually. And when I say mesh it, it's like default tetrahedral mesh that I have created. Let's look at how we go about and assign those attributes. Uh, now you can leave uh, these as a small that bud comes out of the part uh, as a part element or probably I will leave a portion of it as a part element and rest of that I can assign I select it you can see that I selected let it be uh, you know whatever the selection that you have uh, it may not be aligned or you want to align it uh, then probably you have to go with the dual domain mesh and align it and then you create a 3d mesh on this I'm fine with this one so change the properties selected the elements by default it will be part 3d properties um, I'll select the both the one and uh, not saying that apply to the entire properties, but sorry, I change the property type. Excuse me for that. Not the properties, but change the property type. And I will go and say that it's a now hot gate. You can see that new property type has been uh, come into the list. And this is applicable only for the 2024 version. Hit OK. And you can see that uh, so many of has been converted into the 
uh, that and, and and as you see that this has converted into a magenta color and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to reselect those properties again and I'm going to change the per properties and those elements into the wall gate I can select the wall gate and this becomes like an edit start with the timing it doesn't work with the rest of the things uh, and hit ok I selected the default one hit ok and you can see now this has been a wall gate over here it just open works only for the instances open and close okay uh, for the rest of the things it doesn't uh, really work on this and then I am selecting the rest of the elements as you can see over here and then I'm going to change the property type to it to the hot runner 3d pretty much when next time you get the you know entire geometry you can just go ahead and assign it and you can also time it see one wall gate opens at you know three seconds four seconds or or so uh, initially it would be zero and then it opens at the as the filling time interval uh, proceeds and pretty much I'm ready to run the analysis so I also did for a comparison purpose you can compare the things with the beam element here it was a much simple uh, fit system so I created the a beam but I understand when it becomes a very complicated one it's not possible so next time probably if you are having a complex geometry of door trims or bumper uh, you know uh, with the feed system already been attached to it I would not recommend taking the all the manifold or the heaters of course we can do that as well but initial level probably you want to uh, just run it assign it the properties the way I did it for uh, for running and you can see that I have already run the analysis for you and pretty much uh, it runs uh, much faster uh, uh, result wise I did the comparison with the beam element they are fairly close to it uh, almost like 98% close to it there would be little difference than, than the uh, beam element on this so you know the way the flow is happening also you can always go and uh, review it particularly on the feed system and then it goes into the part and so on and so forth the pressure that is needed to fill the part and so all of the results what are, are available for the beam including the throughput uh, is been also available over here okay so next time probably you want to try uh, on a bigger part uh, give an attempt and let me know your feedback I hope uh, this announcement was uh, useful and you will try to use it into the next uh, your project thank you for your time and talk to you later bye